Hey guys, today we are going to look at multiple representations of non-proportional relationships. We're going to practice representing non-proportional relationships in multiple ways. We're going to use the given representation to fill in the others. So this first one, they gave us a verbal description. It says a taxi driver charges $3 per mile plus an additional $2 fee. So our equation is written in y equals mx plus b form, where m is the rate of change and b is the y-intercept, that initial value. So if we look at this verbal description, we should be able to identify m and b from it. So m is the rate of change. It's going to be the thing that is changing more, which would be the $3 per mile because that's gonna happen every mile, that's what we're changing by every mile. And then our B value is going to be that $2 fee, they're just gonna pay that once, and then add the $3 per mile after that. So the equation in Y equals MX plus B form will be Y equals three X plus two. So now that I have the equation, I can use it to fill out my table. The equation is y equals 3x plus 2. So every time I have an x, I'm just going to replace it with the miles. The miles is the x because I will input that to tell me the output y, the total cost. So to find the total cost for zero miles, I would do 3 times 0 plus 2, which would be 0 plus 2, so 2. And then 3 times 1 plus 2 would be 3 plus 2, which is 5. 3 times 2 plus 2 would be 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then 3 times 3 plus 2 would be 9 plus 2, which is 11. And then 3 times 4 plus 2 would be 12 plus 2, which is 14. So there is our table that is increasing by 3 for the $3 per mile. And it starts at 2 for that $2 fee. So now I can graph this since I have some ordered pairs. X is going to be the number of miles and I just have to fit from zero to four in the miles, so I can just count by ones on the x-axis. And then the y-axis is the total cost. And I have to fit from two to 14 on there, so I'm gonna count by twos. Okay, now I'm going to plot these ordered pairs. So zero miles is $2, one mile is $5, which is halfway between four and six. Two miles would be $8, three miles would be 11, and four miles is 14. Okay, let's look at this next one. They gave us a table and it says the table shows a kite descending in the air in feet per seconds. So I'm going to take this information from the table and I'm gonna see if I can transfer it to an equation first. And I need two things to write the equation in y equals mx plus b form. I need the rate of change and I need the y-intercept. And remember the y-intercept is where x is zero x would be seconds and feet would be y. So here is the y-intercept, it is 20. So I have my y-intercept, it is 20. And now I just need my rate of change. Remember the rate of change is the change in y over the change in x. So I'm gonna use two ordered pairs to find the change in y divided by the change in x. I'll use these two. The change in y would be 20 to 17, which is negative three. So the change in y is negative three, and then the change in x from zero to two is plus two. And negative three over two, since we're talking about feet and seconds, I'm gonna change that to a decimal, which is negative 1.5. So the equation in y equals mx plus b form would be y equals negative 1.5x, 
for the slope or for the rate of change plus the y-intercept of 20. Okay, and let's go ahead and write this verbal description. So at zero seconds, my kite is at 20 feet and then it keeps decreasing. And now that we have found the rate of change, we know it's decreasing by 1.5 feet per second. So the verbal description would be a kite is at a height of 20 feet and descends 1.5 feet per second. I needed to make sure I put that word descends in there since the rate of change was negative and our table was going down. Okay, last thing, let's make the table. So my seconds, I go from zero to eight, I can just count by ones. And then my y-axis is gonna be feet and I'm going from 20 to eight, so I'm gonna count by twos on the y-axis. So the x-axis is the seconds. And I'm gonna count by ones. And then the y-axis is the feet, and I'm gonna count by twos. And now I can just plot these points from the table. So 0, 20 was the first one, two is 17, which is halfway between 18 and 16, and then four, 14, 6, 11, and then 8, 8. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these points since this is a continual thing that is happening.